Finding Love Again Back, far back, in the mists of time, when the world was very young, there lived a beautiful princess called Evelyn. And Evelyn was madly in love with a handsome young knight called Bradley. When the king found out about it, he was pleasantly surprised and happy too, for he quite liked Bradley. Inform the whole kingdom. Knight Bradley and Princess Evelyn are to be married next full moon. And so, Bradley and Evelyn were to marry after two weeks, and the whole kingdom was ecstatic. Now, as per the royal law, the bride and the groom aren't supposed to see each other from the date of the announcement till the day of marriage. But such was their love that they couldn't stay away from each other. Oh, Bradley, my knight in shining armor. Each passing day without holding your hands makes my heart weak. These 14 days feel like eternity. Evelyn! Huh, Bradley? The two lovers embraced each other. Bradley, you know it is against. I know, my love, but I cannot live without seeing your face. Did anyone see you? No. The two lovers spent some time together, and then it was time for Bradley to go. But at the balcony, there was a pot of cactus plant that Bradley did not see and hurt his hand. Ah. You are bleeding. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I will see you tomorrow. And then the night left. Evelyn moved the cactus plant pot behind the other plants. Thirteen days passed, and the lovers met every night secretly. Only one day stands between us, and then you are becoming mine forever. But fate had something else written. On the fourteenth day, Evelyn sat on the royal carriage to go to the river to take a traditional bath that every bride in the kingdom took on the eve of their marriage. But on the way, a wheel of the carriage came out of its axle. <coughs> and the carriage collapsed. No! <gasps> My daughter! Princess Evelyn was severely injured. The whole kingdom went quiet as the sense of festivity evaporated. <laughs> <laughs> How is she? <laughs> the daughters are tending to her, but they say that the that the chances of her ever seeing the light of day are very, very slim. <laughs> no, it can't be. My Evelyn. Doctor, Doctor what, what is, is it? it? <sighs> she, um, she has slipped into a coma. No! no. Her head has been severely injured. <coughs> How long will she be in this state, Doctor? Either she will come out of it, or she won't. No! <sighs> News spread around the kingdom that the princess was fighting for her life, and everyone prayed for her well-being. Bradley stayed by her side all day, staring blankly at her face. Days passed, and on one bright sunny day, Princess Evelyn opened her eyes. Uh, <gasps> Evelyn? Huh? Mother? Father? Oh, my child! Guards, call the doctors! Well, my king, prepare for a grand feast, for Evelyn is now out of danger. Evelyn. Bradley, who has just heard the news, rushed to see her. Evelyn, my love, you, you did it. I am so happy to... I'm sorry, but uh, who are you? What? I, I'm Bradley, your love. We were to get married and... 
I'm sorry. I don't know what you are talking about. Ugh. Evelyn, lie down, please. Don't strain yourself. We need to talk. Evelyn has come out of coma, but the injury is taking something away from her. Her recent memories. What? What do you mean? It is called retrograde amnesia. She doesn't remember a part of her past. That's why she remembers her parents, the language she speaks, and her motor skills are still intact. But the last few years have been erased from her mind. Will she never get those memories back? Chances are very small. It will take a miracle. I advise you to not put pressure on her. The happier she is, the faster her head will heal. Keep her happy and pray something triggers the recovery of her past thoughts. Bradley found himself flanked by contradicting emotions. He was happy and was shocked. Bradley, I can only assume what you must be going through. But you heard the doctor. We all want her to recover. Take a month off. Go travel. Come back and hopefully she will heal completely by then. With tears welling up his eyes, Bradley nodded. His priority, too, was Evelyn's health. Take care of her. I will come back after a month. The young knight took a deep breath and, fighting his emotions, left the palace. Days passed, and Princess Evelyn began to recuperate. One day, the prince of the neighboring kingdom... Prince Louis came to visit them upon the directive of his father. Your Majesty, father sends his commendation to Princess Evelyn for her strong will. I am very thankful, Prince Louis. Ah, my daughter is here. Evelyn, meet Prince Louis of the Bolta Kingdom. Hello, Princess. Your beauty surpasses the tales of it. Thank you, Prince Louis. Daughter, would you be able to show Prince Louis around? This is the first time he has come to our kingdom. Sure, father. In the following days, Evelyn and Louis bonded strongly. The prince was head over heels in love with the princess. Evelyn, too, started to feel her heart skip beats around Louis. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it! I have not seen her so happy ever since the misfortune. Indeed, dear. I just hope that his time, fate, doesn't... I won't let that happen. I have asked Louis to extend his stay here, and he has agreed. While Evelyn and Louis were growing fonder of each other with every passing day, Bradley, unbeknownst to the developments at the palace, was gearing up to return to the kingdom. A month without you. A whole month. And we couldn't stay without seeing each other for a day. How cruel is life that it makes us kneel down in front of its course. But I'm coming now, my love. Bradley entered the kingdom and went straight to the palace. But what awaited him there was something that he was not prepared for. <laughs> <laughs> no, really. I want you to meet my parents. I think I would like that, Louis. Oh, Evelyn. A terrible storm raged inside Bradley's heart. His feet weakened. Um, who is that? Hello? Evelyn looked at Bradley and immediately recognized him as the man she had seen when she had woken up from coma. Something inside her heart shook. Hello, mister. I am talking to you. Ah, ah. Oh, he is someone I had called for some work. Must have lost his way around here. Come, young man. Let's discuss about the work. Ah, ah. Come. Evelyn watched Bradley walk away with her father, and suddenly, a strange feeling of sadness overtook her. Hey, are you okay? Um, yes, I'm fine. 
I am sorry, Bradley. Her memories have not come back. But she is very happy with Prince Louis. And I cannot take happiness from her again. What am I to do? Leave the kingdom. The treasurer will give you plenty of money. Settle somewhere else and find someone for yourself. But I... You don't want to see her happy? Bradley did not reply. Of course he wanted to see her happy. Meanwhile, Evelyn had come back to her chamber feeling very emotional without knowing the reason for it. She stood at her balcony and watched Bradley leave. Suddenly she noticed the cactus plant. What are these red... Evelyn picked up the pot and looked at the bloodstains. Her eyes widened. It was as if a thick of dust that had sheathed her mind suddenly got cleared. In a flash, her past came back to her. She screamed in disbelief. <gasps> no! The king, the queen, and Louis ran to her chamber. What is it, Evelyn? I remember. I remember everything. Where is Bradley going, father? Where is he going? The king told her everything, and Evelyn at once ran out of the room. Come on! Bradley! Huh? Evelyn! Bradley! Evelyn! <laughs> oh, Bradley, I remember everything now. My love! What? Please don't leave. I cannot live without you. Never. And so... Bradley and Evelyn were finally reunited. The king went up to Louis to apologize. I am so sorry, Louis. Please accept my sincere apology. I really wanted to marry her, you know? I was going to come to ask you for her hand in marriage. I know, but she doesn't love you. She loves Bradley. Would you want to marry someone who has no love for you? Louis understood what the king meant. He accepted his apology and left for his kingdom. And on the night of the full moon, Bradley and Evelyn were married in a grand wedding, and at the feast, the doctor said, Strange thing the mind is. We think the heart is responsible for love. But no, it is all the deed of the mind. The heart unnecessarily carries the disrepute. <laughs>